Hi everybody. I thought it would be cool to make a video about uh, compositing render passes in Fusion and GIMP. So Lightwave 2018 came out recently and um, it's got a, a lot of new cool features. And one of the biggest ones is exporting a whole bunch of render passes. Got all your standard render passes that you'll find in most common uh, rendering applications. So I decided to make a quick scene to test this out. Uh, what I've got is a very simple setup. Um, I've got a liquid simulation running. I've just baked out one frame. I've got some area lights. I've got a stage. And you can see a preview in the VPR right here, what it will look like after everything is done. Then to export the render passes in Lightwave, of course you need to enable them under buffers. And for this, I've only exported the diffuse, direct, indirect, uh, reflection. Reflection doesn't actually work with specular, but I just did it. And then refraction and the specular direct and indirect. Then you can just hit the render button and then when, you, when it's done, this is what it looks like, of course. But Lightwave goes and applies some extra stuff on top, uh, uh, color spaces, which I will not get into at this point. I'm still learning. And of course, I'm approaching this as an amateur. I'm actually a coder, but I'm learning this stuff. Um, uh, so this is not a professional tutorial. It's more like a fun exploration of features. And if you want to know how I made this cool fluid simulation, please have a look at our website. We've got a very nice fluid simulator called Deep Rising FX. The second version just came out with a whole bunch of new features. And you can also look around the store. There's a, there's a lot of other nice little plugins you can play with there. Okay, next I'm going to switch over to GIMP. I'll start uh, with this app for my composition. Then I'll move over to Fusion. If you don't know what GIMP is, it's an open source photo manipulation program, similar to Photoshop. Uh, you can download it for free, of course. I like using it because it's straightforward, and if I can do things here, they're easy. I can probably do them in other applications pretty easily. And it's accessible for everybody to use, so it's a good way to show how to composite stuff. So first, I'm going to just take one of the render pass layers, drag it on top to create the file in GIMP. Then after that, I will just drag the rest onto that, on top of that, one second. And GIMP will automatically create the layers for me. Okay, and it's done. So I'll just go through each render pass to see what it looks like. So for the diffuse layers, you will get something like this. Then for reflection, you will get this, even though the reflection is not, uh, I said it's not working, it's actually working just a tiny bit. So I left it. Then refraction, of course, gives us the most detail. And then we've got the specular layers. Specular, indirect, and direct. So basically, all you, to get the same image like we've spits out at the end, you can do a, div a bunch of different things, but the easiest way to get there is just to make every layer on top of the first one into an addition layer. I'll do that quickly. And then the final one. And voila, we get the final image, the same one we had in Lightwave. But as you can see, there's some transparency here. Uh, to do that, you can just go to the first layer and remove the alpha channel. And since we don't need it at first, but if you need the alpha channel, you would leave it there. So essentially, that's it. And if you know how to use Photoshop, uh, you can do a bunch of extra stuff. You can make things glow. You can make the, the liquid more brown if you want. If you know how to do that stuff, you can do it from here, of course. And then I'll just show you how to do this in Fusion next. Okay, uh, so the process is similar in Fusion. There's just one catch. I'll show you what the catch is. So I'm just going to drag everything from here, of course, and just put it here. Fusion will actually merge these automatically. 
for me but I will do them manually just to show the process and you just delete those okay okay so for this we're just going to go to add tool so you right click add tool and go to composite and merge and we'll just i will do this quickly so you just need merge nodes i'll copy and paste the rest Okay, and when I'm done, I'll just drag the last layer uh, to the top. But what you notice is you won't see anything. And if you go to the merge layers, they don't have anything called addition. And that's the catch I was talking about. So it took me a while to figure this out. What you need to do is lower the alpha gain to zero for each merge node. And essentially, by default, all the merge nodes are in addition automatically. So let me just do that quickly. And we should get the final one. Okay, and when it's done, you will get the same image uh, as before, of course. Okay, and this is something I was working on earlier. So I had this animation and everything, and I'll just show you one little enhancement I made, just to show something I discovered, and it's quite powerful, is the cherries. They weren't, they were a bit dull, they weren't as red as they, are, as they are, so I wanted them to pop out of the screen, so I just wanted to affect that layer. So essentially it's just a diffuse layer. So I just created a brightness node, let me just move that, and you will see what it looks like without that. So yeah, they look uh, really dull, as, in, as you can see, that's how they came out of the renderer. But once I add the brightness to them, um, one second. Uh, to calculate, and you'll see the very right cherries and they'll pop out. So and you can do thi aesthetic things like that, I guess, in the compositor. Okay, and I think that's all. Uh, thank you for watching, and again, please check out my website and have a look around. You might and check this channel on a regular basis. I think I'll be posting more of these amateur videos. So thank you for watching, and um, see you next time.